an explosion of relief and celebration after what scientists describe as seven minutes of terror. Watching their spacecraft land on Mars. The mission is a success. China's venture to the Red Planet is its most ambitious space mission yet. Before now, it's only gone as far as the moon. It should be said that this was not an easy task. It is our first time down this path, and we have met many difficulties. It was through a lot of hard work that today we were able to go through with our plans to make our goals a reality. The Tianwen-1 orbiter set out in July last year and reached Mars in seven months. It's been circling the red planet since February. The six-wheeled rover inside, Zhu Rong, is named after the god of fire in ancient Chinese mythology. The plan is for Zhu Rong to undergo a few days of tests before it explores an icy area known as Utopia Planitia, joining an American rover that landed in February. It's going to look at the geology of the area, look for evidence of past water, current water, study the interior of Mars. They've got a really ambitious program of science, particularly, like I say, for the first time that they've been to Mars. They're kind of trying to do everything all at once. Catch on confirmed. Perseverance safely on the surface of Mars. China's now the third country to make a touchdown on Mars, after Russia in 1971 and the US five years later. NASA's rovers have already sent back pictures of their environment, the sound of the Martian wind, while a tiny helicopter, Ingenuity, made a pioneering flight there last month. Several other craft are orbiting the planet, including one from the United Arab Emirates, part of a global space race that's recently accelerated, with several countries jostling for the top spot. China's efforts haven't been without criticism. Last week it caused concern worldwide when debris from one of its rockets fell to Earth uncontrolled. The US space agency NASA accused Beijing of being irresponsible, though China said there was only an extremely low risk of damage. But in the long term, China's looking in a very similar way to the US of sending people out into space. So for scientists, it's really exciting because of the things we can learn. But I think societally, it's also really cool because it's a step along the road to actually human exploration and a permanent presence for people in space beyond the Earth. Another successful Mars mission that could have long-term consequences for those of us on this planet. Alexia O'Brien, Al Jazeera.